Following breaking news here on CBS Sports HQ, the Charlotte Hornets have fired coach James Borrego. That's according to ESPN. Borrego went 138-163 in four seasons with the Hornets, including trips to the play-in tournament in each of the past two seasons. Now with Borrego gone, that makes three coaching vacancies in the NBA right now. The Hornets joining the Lakers and the Kings. The Kings, of course, who say goodbye to Walton and Gentry after a 30-52, 21-22 record. And of course, Frank Vogel, very high profile firing there for Vogel after the Lakers missed the playoffs entirely after being one of the favorites at the beginning of the season, finishing with a 33 and 49 record. All right, let's welcome in the coach and NBA champion, Avery Johnson. Coach, let's get your reaction here. The Charlotte Hornets deciding to go in another direction. I mean, Borrego had signed an extension in August of last year, but I guess they've decided to move along. What's your reaction here to uh, him being fired by the Hornets? When coaches sign an extension in the NBA, that doesn't uh, secure your future with a franchise. Sometimes when you sign an extension as a college basketball coach, that's a little bit more security than in the NBA. But when you look at Michael Jordan's body language and his dismay after the Hornets were bounced in that, that lopsided uh, play-in game, uh, against Atlanta, you knew uh, that uh, this wasn't gonna, you know, this wasn't gonna end well. And, uh, you know, even though, you know, he spent four years with the Hornets, you know, they improved by 10 victories each of the last couple of seasons. Uh, Michael Jordan expect more from this team, especially with a young uh, emerging star like uh, L L LaMelo Ball. So uh, I'm not totally surprised. Uh, this is what happens. I got fired, you know, in 2012 after being coach of the month in November and got fired in December. So nothing surprises me in the <laughs> NBA. Hopefully Coach Borrego will uh, land on his feet. Uh, this is a, a good job, though. This is a wonderful opportunity for the new incoming uh, head coach whomever that may be um, in, in the next couple of weeks. I was going to ask you that next question. I mean, where do the Hornets go from here? What kind of a coach would they be looking for? Well, I think you're going to need a coach that um, uh, has a little bit more of a disciplinary uh, type of uh, uh, style. Uh, LaMelo Ball, you know, obviously he's a talented player, but I, I know some of his antics on the court. This is not AAU basketball. It's not the NBA Summer League. You're playing in regular season games. So I think you know, the person that comes in is going to have to provide a little bit more discipline get him under control a little bit more, uh, be a little bit more focused and, and disciplined because you can't be a, a, a clown and a captain at the same time. <laughs> That's what Coach Popovich and all the great coaches that I played for, you, you have to be a captain. If you want to be a leader of your team, you know, there has to be some sort of focus, consistent focus and seriousness. And I know that'll happen as ball continues to mature, but this is a really good roster. And I think this, this roster has a chance, especially the Eastern conference to try to gain some traction. But uh, I think they're going to have to have a little bit of a culture change and be a little bit more focused and especially on the defensive end of the floor. Coach, is this a roster right now that should be a legit playoff team in the Eastern conference? Absolutely. This is a legitimate top six uh, type of a roster and not a play-in uh, type of a roster. So, ability, you have guys that are versatile. Uh, you you got, I would say they're about eight deep. You got to continue to add maybe a couple, you know, veterans to this team so that they can practice better, be a little bit more consistent and uh, get out of this play-in situation. But this is a roster not a championship roster, but this is a roster that should be a solid playoff type of a team and get into the playoffs and uh, have a, have an opportunity to, you know, get to a six or seven game in the first round with the opportunity to advance to the second round. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.